Hi guys, welcome to another special episode of Amiel TV One on One. My guest today has a specific way he wants to be introduced. He is Italian-based Ghanaian rapper, Papi Kojo. Guys, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back to talk to the man himself, the real Anu himself. <laughs> Papi Kojo is here. Real Anu. What Before we went out, I'm Did back. You, okay, we are back. Yeah, we're back. What brings you back to town? Show, music videos, girls... Ghana food, you know? <laughs> Let's talk about this mustache. What's, what's, wrong with, what's wrong with my mustache? When is it going? We thought it was a temporal thing. Why? But it looks like it's Do you think my age is temporal? So the mustache is because Represents. of the, your age. Yeah, How old are age. you? 43. You, Papi Kojo, yeah. are 43 years old. Yes. So now let's talk about your new project that has been out for... Two months. Two months, okay. Logos Hope. Yeah. Tell us about Logos Hope. Um, the hottest um, EP out. Mm -hmm. The best EP of the year. Yes. It is, it is no good like admit, but it is what it is. It's the numbers, so right now your opinion only counts. It's the numbers. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. the hottest EP out. Yeah. Obviously. We agree. Yeah, and I'm, I'm very excited. About you know. It. Yeah, I'm really, really excited because some people think say without somebody, I'm not going to figure his song. But uh, it'll be true. Who is that somebody? I don't know. We'll talk about it on Twitter. Twitter be where they misbehave. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about Kobe. Uh, Kobe has been such, you know, like a big song ever since you dropped it. It is what it is. What like, is God it? no be lefty, you understand? God doesn't use his, his left hand to eat. I'm sorry if you're lefty, but God does not use his left hand to eat. When you were recording, you know, did you know it was going to have that impact? Of course. Uh, that's, that's what I think. I don't know if I'll call it impact, but I have to like it, you know. Yeah. So I always felt like, yeah, I really, really love the song. And I, I really love hip-hop, I'm not going to lie to you. And I was really excited to be on a song with Reggie and Okene too. So. Yeah, those two. Why did you decide that these are the people, like, I want to work with them? Reggie because I really have like a good relationship with Reggie. Okay. And Okene too is because Santa America for Yemi blood niggas. Like that verse has been my favorite since so I've always wanted to work with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, it looks like even when you dropped that EP, you took a different turn to sort of promote it. Really? Yeah. I mean you you dropped it whilst you are not in the country. Yeah. Typically People will go around for media rounds, trying to... I tried to do that with uh, Logos too. Okay. And some of them were flexing me then since. Huh. Yeah, we, like, the why you are the media person is because of me. Yeah. So I don't see why you should flex me. Do you want to mention any names? People who flex... Uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to give them clout. Because so right now, media, media, media don't get his song, but I get his song. Yeah. So is that why when you dropped, you know, Logos Hope, you decided that, okay, since the media didn't pay me any yeah, attention, then yeah, I'm yeah. going to use a different... Yeah, because most of these media people who are like media people now, back then when we came out, they were nobodies, you know? <laughs> yeah, they really were nobodies. So it's like, we're happy for you, but make you no can rush for here, like, you really they matter when you really know they... But they give, we give everybody the chance to promote their stuff on our... But I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about some of them, certain ones. Okay. I don't want to mention their names and they will go rants then. But, yeah. But why, why did you decide to inculcate, you know, like, comedy into promoting the album? Because I saw a lot of those... I don't think what I do is funny. I'm being real and I'm really gangster like that. Now, if you find my realness and gangsterism funny, that's on you. I'm out here in Ghana. They said I couldn't come to Ghana. I'm out here. I want niggas to test my gangster. I'm not being funny. Why TikTok? You, you call yourself a TikTok rapper. Yeah. Why? Why do you call yourself that? Because I did tick and talk. <laughs> Poppy, please be serious. Plus, <laughs> because I'm thick and I talk. You are thick you are way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm thick here and I talk. That's why I like TikTok. 
Oh my God. <laughs> no, no. I love no. I, I love TikTok because I love to laugh, Charlie, and like comedy did it too much. And yeah, why not, Charlie? Yeah. That's do you think Do you think other people should take you around? Because I mean, you were, it was very successful for you. I mean, if they can, why not? You know, if they can, why not? You know, I feel like right now, like, just do what you can. You know. Yeah, just just do what you can. There has been a lot of mentioning about some people disrespecting you. Mm -hmm. What are they doing that you... Which one? Because... I don't know. On Twitter, you've been saying, stop disrespecting me. This person is disrespecting me. Yeah. A lot of people disrespect me. I feel like a lot of people disrespect me and then... Right how, how do they do that? What are they doing that you think is disrespectful? I mean, I don't expect you people to know because you people don't see that. I'm the only one who sees it. Okay. Like, 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 so I they see things. You they see things. Yeah, Please so see into my future. I've seen that already. This afternoon, to me, then you there. I was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. the last time you were here, uh, in a conversation with my colleague JQ, there was a lot of talk about the reason why you and one of your close, closest, uh, you know, music partners and best friend at the time, why you guys decided to part ways. Who? who? Joey B. Uh -huh. You didn't, you know, really give us the nitty gritties about what really happened. But over the last few weeks on Twitter, you are giving us hints. You are making these, you know. I mean, I can't talk to Joey B. I don't know why. I, we can't talk face to face. So that's, I guess that's how we are going to communicate. Why can't you, though? Don't, don't you think know, don't speaking face to face is going to help you guys to resolve whatever issues that... I personally don't want to talk to him face to face. Like, me and Avia. But um, it could have been done. Is Yvonne Nelson the reason why you guys parted ways? No. You made, you alluded that that could have been the reason. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I feel like Yvonne Nelson was my best friend and we are not best friends anymore. And then, and then they are being best friends. So, I feel like it was just... Okay. Help us understand. Who was Yvonne best friends with first? Me. Yvonne Nelson was my best friend first. Okay. So... Did, did you guys, along the way, did your friendship, like, end? Me and Yvonne? Yeah, you and Yvonne. I don't know if it end, ended or whatever, but... But then I walk one We are not best Joey. friends. I don't... After everything she did, she's not my best friend. What did she do? She became friends with someone I'm not friends with. So after you and Yvonne were best friends, and then you were no longer friends, and then she became friends with Joey B., Yes, I'm, I saw that. I don't know if they were friends, but so I saw think, pictures. I was in Italy and then I saw pictures of them. Do you think if Yvonne betrayed your friendship? No, because we weren't friends, you know. At the time that yeah. she became friends with yeah. Joey B. Yeah, we weren't friends at that time. Maybe you Ghanaian guys are cool with those things, but me, Papi Kojo, yeah, you know. If you're not going to be my friend, don't be friends with someone who's also not my friend. But, but they are not friends anymore. I went to check. They are, they are, they've unfollowed each other. Each other. So are you happy about that? Yeah, very happy. Like, I'll be sad if I see them follow each other again. So keep it like that. <laughs> Do you think loyalty is the reason why you and Joey B are no longer together? Uh, I don't think so. I, you know, I follow you a lot. There were also some, you know, stuff that, you know, things that you wrote alluding to the fact that uh, maybe... Uh, Joey B asked you not to be friends with certain people. Then after you decided to dog them, he rather became friends with yeah. them. That's very true. Okay. Yeah, so it's like I'm a bitch nigga to, this, to these people. You know? But you were like a grown man at the time. Yeah, but... So why would you let somebody influence you? Because I felt like, Charlie, we need to let this puppy enjoy thing go, you know? Whatever it takes to make this puppy enjoy thing go. Because it's not just about me and Joey. Honestly, it was about the people the with us too. Work. Not just fans, like people who actually work for us then since, you know. Like, uh, people really look up to us doing this thing, like, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it was anything, like, I would do anything for Papi and Joey too. Like, I didn't even care. Like, any song be, I could be Papi and Joey, I honestly didn't care, yeah. you know. But 
Anyway, moving away from Joey, Joey B is not the only one that you have been attacking these days. I don't attack them. Mr. Easy. I don't attack because them. It's one-sided. No, I don't attack them. You guys just don't see the attack. I am re-attacking. You are re-attacking. Yeah, I'm retaliating. So they, so they have attacked you. Yeah, like this is a reaction. Everything I'm doing is a reaction. Because we don't see what exactly. they are doing. Exactly. That's why I'm telling you it's a reaction. I see it. What has Mr. Easy done to you? He owes me money. From music, there is this song, Aquaba Remix. He did my vocals on it, he didn't give me any credits. It's still out there. Aquaba Money since 2008. Why, why, why didn't he give you credit? I don't know. Ask him. When did you realize that he didn't give you credit on the Aquaba song? Because 2018 is a long time. It, the remix came out, I think, 2019. Okay. Or 2020. I don't know when they did it. I wasn't involved, you know, so I wouldn't know. But um, yeah, I realized and I was like, ah, what's the meaning of this, you know? So when you realized that, did you reach out to him to, privately to say, yo, easy, uh, I think I deserve this? Yeah. I reached out to Guilty because the song belongs to, to Guilty, Guilty Beat. Yeah. yeah, and then I found out he's handling those things. You found out Mr. Easy yeah. is handling? Yeah, and I, I don't like him, so I don't, I'm not going to reach out to him. I'll reach out to him on Twitter. But you don't, if you don't like him, he has something... Obviously, that belongs to you, that you need to take. That's what I'm doing on Twitter. Not everything can be solved on Twitter. Who decided that? Who made that decision? I believe that everything can be solved on Twitter. Because so people that, like to play okay, so, fake and so, so then look that. like Jesus on Twitter. So if everything is on Twitter, proof of everything, then we know who is the Jesus. Because I'm so tired of... You've, you've written so many things, like ev almost every day for several weeks. Mr. Easy has not said one thing back. And I'm not saying it for Mr. Easy to say something back. Mr. Easy can say something back right now, tomorrow, like Kojo Sheldon, like even Kojo Sheldon. Like, he can say something back or say nothing back. If I feel like I want to say something, I will say it. I don't say it because I'm expecting him to say something back, you know? So me, I should be left alone and not be minded, like cry. I don't do it for reactions, you know? You said they were... Empowered. Mr. Easy could pay me back my money and then the next day I still go, go after Mr. Easy. Just because I feel like I can't. You made mention that Empire was trying to reach out to you behind yeah. closed doors. Yeah. How is that going? Um, not very well. I'm not happy. So. What are they proposing to you that you are what not... What they are proposing to me is not... I'm not happy about it. And I don't even want to come and talk about it here. But I'm not happy about it. So uh, I'm talking to a lawyer... And if there are like other lawyers out there who are really interested in this matter, like I would love for us to work together because it's about time they start respecting us, you know. Like I don't go to Nigeria to go and look for Mr. Easy. He came to Ghana looking for me, sucking my dick then since. If you are big now, it's good for you. But don't cheat other people. That's what I'm saying. L let me not cut you, but this thing happened like almost two, three years ago. Yeah. Do you feel like now that Mr. Easy has established himself? Well, Mr. Easy was established now five years ago. Mr. Easy but was established four years ago. I was like three two, years three times. So what does that mean? So I should keep quiet? No, I'm just saying that. Do you feel like all this while you kept quiet and now that he is, you yeah, know, I feel like now is the time not, for you to. Like, like not just him. Like I've had time with everyone. Mr. Easy, Joey, everyone. Like. I told Fire Sticks on the podcast, I was like, there are times I will call Joey's manager and cry to him like, yo, I can't do it without you people. So there are times where problems could have been solved or whatever could have been, we could have had that communication, you know, but it didn't happen. So right now, me, I'm mad, my bottom, and it's too late. Has Mr. <laughs> Easy given you credit for putting him on? I don't so. need his credit. I didn't, do it. I didn't do it for Mr. Easy to give me credit. I did it for my staff. Yeah, and I'm cool with my star. I didn't, Mr. Easy, I didn't know him. It was my star. First time I saw him was the music video shoot. That one, he came begging me to bless him like the way Sakodia blessed me. Like, I don't know the guy from anywhere, you know? People think he's big now, so I should give a fuck. But I really don't. If you are rich, you are rich in your house. Because my, my mom doesn't even know who Mr. Easy is. My stepdad doesn't even know Mr. Easy. We don't even know you. So. Sam George. Why? He's a bully. You know, I feel like if you're going to be a politician, you should set examples. You know, and if you're going to be a Twitter politician man and be outspoken like 
that you should say examples. Everyone is watching, you know. At the end of the day, you're not an entertainer like Papi Kojo. So I, you can't, like, I media, I, I can't be a role model. But you, if you're going to stand as a politician, you know, everything that you do is a statement, you know, that kids will look up to and all of that, you know. So you can't just come on Twitter and feel like you're Elon Musk. Meanwhile, you don't have 44 billion. Do you have 44 billion to be able to buy GTV? But who said GTV is 44 billion? No, but do you have enough money to buy GTV? Yeah. What makes you think I can buy GTV? What's GTV's worth? How much are you bidding? For GTV, no, there is no bidding for GTV. I mean, it's just there to ability. go and buy. Oh, I, I, I want to, to buy it for this amount. The government may listen to you and say, okay, take it. I'm serious about it too. I don't know why. Like I, what I'm gonna have a tattoo. I'm, I'm a tattoo guy is coming over tonight to my house. I'm getting two tattoos, so I'm getting fear black women under my eyes. Why? Because you must fear black women. What about white women? You don't have to fear them. Why? What's the because black women are there for that. <laughs> for what? To, for be you feared. to be feared. So the job is that, and I'm getting GTV, the station for the nation. Yeah. So, uh, like, I really, I feel like everything that I know um, is through GTV, you know, and I, I love GTV. When what I'm impact, old. what impact are you going to make on GTV? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, like, I really looked up to, like, programs on GTV, you know, like I remember back then DSTV, they had this booklet where they would show you what it shows and I, I felt like they, they should do, they should have done the same thing for GTV. Up to now, I still remember I, I had to wake up, um, I, I would be excited to watch GTV on Monday because of Sports Alight, Bankum on Tuesday, uh, Taxi Driver on Wednesday, um, I don't know, Concert Party, Cantata. Like, Nobody pays attention. Because it's not exciting like it used to be anymore. You know, and this is GTV. You, you and I feel like one. I am the one who can take GTV to the next level. I'm not even playing. I'm, and I'm ready for that. Will you give me a job when you take... Of course. I feel like GTV shouldn't be play with. GTV is like one of Ghana's best thing that they, they've ever had. GTV. Since, since, since. You know, from our grandmothers to till now. Everything that we know is through GTV. The Metro TVs then come later. TV3 said Takwadi was during Hamatan, then we watched TV3. So I feel like, like GTV is like really, really important. And they will need someone like me to make GTV what GTV really is. Logos 2 was released last year, correct? Mm -hmm. Did you send in any, did you file for VGMA nominations? No. Why? I, I know say that I know go win, so. How can you be so sure? Because it's just that I didn't, I didn't feel any support, and you know, and to win those things, you need, you need support. Your fans That's didn't it. support you. Not the fans. It's not based on the fans. It's like behind the scenes people, media people, you know. And since media for now, much show Muhammad actually made it done, so you know. And the award too, like I've, I have like four. People really think I don't have awards. Like Ghana Music Awards, I have one. For hours, hip hop song of the year 2015. So, yeah. So you're okay with that? Yeah. But then I feel and like, and I feel Logos 2 was a good project. Great album. Green means go. go. It's, Balance. It's uh, all day, all night, tonight. Thomas Mompoya, yo. We like classics. To all those My hearts with Kwame UJ. Like, Your friends will not be happy that you didn't file. No, but we don't really care about awards like that. You and your fans, you or your fans. Sometimes the fans want it. They want to boast and say that, yeah. Um, I think I'm already, like, I'm fly. They're just happy that they're just fan of Papi Kojo. I don't need an award for them, for them to feel like, uh, I mean, omu omu I know as you did Italy there, there are so many things that are happening in the country that you are aware of. Mm -hmm. Um... Doomso seems to be back. Doomso is back? Yeah, so many lights. Let's not lie. Let's not lie. Since I came to Ghana, I haven't experienced Doomso. When, how many days have you been in Ghana? I've been here for like three days. So? I mean, Doomso was like daily thing. Okay, so light off. We are getting frequent light off. So I shouldn't use no, the word no. Doomso. Okay, yeah. I mean, I feel like people are just complaining about E-Levy. That's what I was coming to. Yeah. What do you make of it? Me, Nanadi, Nanadi be my own boy. What Nanadi says is what we go with. 
So you, you agree, but you, you, I don't think your fans, some of your fans agree with paying tax on already taxed money. I just the trust in the day. I know when Nana did, I believe where he's, he knows what he's doing. What has Nana did done that Amma Wenya Sopa so far? I mean, I met you through Nana D's time. Have you met him one on one? In the DMs? <laughs> <laughs> Can you show us? Can no, show it's us? private. No. It's very private. Me and Nana D is just, you know. <laughs> you can. <laughs> and me, I know, be, me, I know the snitch who. Me, I know who will snitch. Me, I'm not be snitch. Do they snitch on no. people posting videos and people's. So maybe I'll call Kalije and ask Kalije who will be snitch for Ghana. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, cool down. Yeah, yeah. We all know where this is going to. So now that you're violence. violence. I like violence. I don't like this. I like violence. Now that you're back in town, which uh, music videos are you shooting? I'm shooting just one because I don't have much time. I'm leaving. Can I be your model? Of course. Okay. Of course. When I come, now three days, then I'll go because the but ops plenty. I can't wear can bikini. Wear can I wear Jalabia? Anything you want to wear. Okay. You can choose to wear it, you can choose not to wear it. Anything is fine. But could you... you keep saying the ops. Who, who is after you? My ops. Who are they? Why are they after you? I don't even know why they're after me. <laughs> I don't even know what I did to what them. Is, All these people are mentioning their names. No, I don't... Twitter fingers. Yes. And they or China way. Today, this morning is DKB. No, we're just having a, a, a dialogue. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's nothing personal. He believes in the sky that he God, and I don't. So we're trying to... I mean, if we don't argue, how are we going to learn? You know, that's... that's the, that if we don't ask questions and argue and talk back, I don't think we, are, we can learn. So, yeah, I'm just learning. Logos hope. Are you going to be, you know, promoting it more times now that you're back in Ghana? Yeah, yeah, that's To the why. media people that are for oh, you, no, are there the for media you? Media people, yeah. No. Like, I don't like the whole concept, say, we for chase them. Would you, would, you, would you host a listening concert or I something? I did it for Logos, too. I mean, this is Logos Hope. Um, no. My ops child, they can come there. Oh. So, I don't, I'm not going to do that, but, yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, so we are done, right? Maybe I'll go do more violence for Twitter. I'll go, I'll let you guys later, yeah? <laughs>